you know, it's 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 a you know it's a no-brainer. Get these shoes in this colorway. Hi guys, it's Matt here. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing fabulous today. I'm back with another review, and you know, of all the reviews that I did recently, uh, this was one of the one of the reviews that excited me the most because I was uh, completely in love with the way these shoes looked, and I, I just couldn't wait to put them on. And when I wear these shoes, people actually compliment me, say, "Oh, I want one of those shoes." Anyhow. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Allbirds Trail Runner SWT, where SWT stands for Sugar, Wool and Tree, uh, because, you know, it's, it's Allbirds, so it's a sustainable, sustainable trail running shoe. As a matter of fact, this is uh, Allbirds first dedicated trail running shoe. Uh, I believe it came out a while ago, but this colorway is, is kind of new, uh, at least it was new for me. And again, I just can't take my eyes off these shoes. What I'm going to be talking about today, I'm going to go through the, the specs of the shoes, what I like about the shoes, what I don't like about the shoes. And again, as always, most importantly, whether you should buy the shoes or not. So let's get right into this. So the Allbirds Trail Runner SWT is a trail running shoe. It's a chunky shoe. There's quite a lot of foam, like the sweet foam, which is Allbirds, like more sustainable foam going on uh, at the bottom of the shoes. There is a, um, a water repellent upper. So like, no, they have like water repellent bits around the edge where you got the nice coloration. And then again, there's like a wool upper here, uh, which is very comfortable wear. It has like a sock-like fit. The laces are lovely as well. If you look into the shoes, there is like a lot a lot more of these fleecy, uh, you know, wooly things going on there. Very, very comfortable. Allbirds actually claims that these shoes can be worn without socks because they're so comfortable. And I can I can verify that they are really comfortable even without socks. So if, you know, that's what you want, to want to wear your trail running shoes without socks, you can do it, you know, with, uh, with the Allbirds uh, Trail Runner SWT. It has a four millimeter multi-directional lugs at the bottom for, for traction off-road. As well as that, you got a lot of things. And let me just read it out because I, there's no way I can remember all this. FSC certified tensile lyocell, which is eucalyptus tree fiber, and ZQ Marino wool blend upper. ZQ Marino wool and recycled polyester ripstop at the top. Sweet foam midsole made with a sugarcane based EVA. FSC certified natural rubber outsole. Bio based TPU seam tape eyelets. Shoelaces made from recycled plastic bottles. And castor bean oil based insole foam. There we go. This is a trail running shoe, and this is like kind of like a durable trail running shoe as well. Uh, so it's not it's not light. The UK uh, size 10 shoe that I wear weighs 383 grams, which is you know pretty heavy. It's kind of on par with shoes such as the um, the Adidas Solar Glide 5, for example, or the uh, the Asics Gel Nimbus uh, 24, which is again a heavier shoe. I, I believe those are slightly lighter than this one. This shoe is definitely more heavier than the uh, the Nike Pegasus 39, or or even shoes uh, such as the um, you know the Asics Metaspeed uh, Edge Plus. But those are obviously not trail running shoes uh, and one of them is a racing shoe so there's no it's, you know not not a real comparison so yeah this is this is a chunky shoe this is a slightly heavier shoe but for that reason it is very good for for the purpose it was designed for which is to go off-road and to enable you to go fast off-road so i was wearing these shoes for basically a week almost non-stop because i just like the way they look i even went to um went to milan on a press trip and and i decided to wear these shoes uh, and then go out running if I could in Milan, uh, which obviously is not a trail running, uh, you know, sort of environment. Uh, however, I was just like, this is the shoe that you can put on, uh, even if you're not uh, running, basically, because they look good enough to be worn as, as an everyday shoe as well, and they're comfortable enough to be worn as an everyday shoe. So I think I think Albert has a reputation of, the, of his shoes looking a bit like clunky, and you know a lot of a lot of trail running shoes look like dad shoes. You know, like they just they just don't don't look fashionable enough. However, this one is a super cool fashion shoe, as well as being a competent trail running shoe at the same time. So I think it's a you know for that reason it's great value for money. Oh, speaking of great value for money, uh, the shoes cost uh, 135 pounds in the UK and 140 dollars in the US. Not the cheapest, not the most expensive shoes. Again, because it's you know the, the the sustainable nature of the shoes and then the durability of the shoes, I think it's not a bad not a bad value if you have enough money to buy it. Uh, you know, it's 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 a, it's a really good option. Let's talk about how I feel as to run in the uh, Allbirds the Trail Runner SWT. 
Uh, as I mentioned, I went on uh, a few trail runs with this, well, more like park runs. It wasn't like super technical trails, but I think this is not necessarily a super technical trail running shoe. So I went in, went in a couple of, uh, you know, runs in the park. I also use it for run uh, on on concrete and like on on uh, varied uh, te terrain, and I think I think it performed really well. Uh, it's not a performance running shoe in a sense that like I wouldn't use it for racing, but for training and then just to have a good time. This is this is pretty good. The upper is very comfortable. I was wearing these shoes for you know for flying and then just have a have a you know good old walk around in, you know town and all that stuff. So I I put them on for like eight hours straight and and then my foot wasn't like dying basically. So it's always it's always a good sign because I. I do like wearing uh, barefoot shoes when I'm not wearing running shoes, just because they allow my foot to spread. So when I put on running shoes uh, for longer periods of time, they they tend to they tend to bother me a bit. But it wasn't it wasn't terrible in the in the Allbirds Trail Runner uh, SWT. It was like I was like, oh, actually, you know, it's just not. I did I did take it off when I was on you know when I was flying because I just take shoes off when I can essentially you know just to be absolutely completely barefoot. But it wasn't because it, it was unbearable to wear the shoes. It was more like just to just to have a have a bit of uh, you know shoe free time essentially. Right here, just under the lace cage, you got like an even softer, even more flexible bit, which kind of goes up all the way up here, and then you got like a sock like uh, entry to the shoe. There is a little pull tab, so it, it, it's you can pull the shoes on pretty easily. And then there's like this external kind of heel counter here, which which holds the foot foot pretty nicely actually. So again, all things considered, it's pretty good to run in. It's it's very flexible, which is great because it again it, it lets you move your foot, you know, in all sorts of ways. Uh, however, for the same reason, obviously, uh, it it doesn't. You know, it doesn't help you moving forward quite as much. Not sure if I mentioned. Have I mentioned? Uh, so the Trail Runner SWT has a seven millimeter drop. I believe it has twenty five millimeters on the heel and 18, 18 millimeters uh, uh, at the front, which is you know it's a it's a pretty aggressive drop, uh, but you know not too terrible. Uh, it, it's good for good for moving you forward, but not not quite as aggressive as like you know when you stand and you like literally like roll forward because of the shoe shoes like like this. Your foot foot is basically like this in the shoes. Anyhow, so seven millimeter drop. It was really nice, really comfortable to run in uh, because of the, you know, because of the flexibility of the shoe. There's a bit of like torsion flexibility as well going on. There is because obviously with the flexibility you can you can guess there's not not a rock plate in the shoe. You would think that it's not going to protect you from from very technical trails, and you would be right. However, because there's there's enough foam under foot uh, for for you know non technical trails and park runs and stuff, this is more than enough protection. And then the lugs, the multi directional lugs, as well as looking pretty cool. Uh, they they allow you to get get a grip on you know on the terrain even if it's like a it's not not too stable. I did not try the shoes on like very very sloppy you know mud runs and all that stuff. So I can't I can't can't say how how good good it is uh, for for that sort of environment. As long as you don't submerge your foot completely in mud or water, you should stay dry and then you should get you, know, you should have enough grip uh, to to move forward. There's no itching, there's no chafing, just a brilliant, brilliant, comfortable shoe altogether. Should you buy the uh, Allbirds Trail Runner as SWT? Obviously, this is not the only colorway of the shoes. They, it comes in a you know in a few colors. I think it's like five or six available at the moment. I definitely like this one, and and my recommendation goes for this this particular colorway because it looks very good. So because it looks very good and because it's it's a nice and flexible shoe and then because it can be used for trail running and it can also be used for hybrid terrain as well and because it can be used as a kind of just an everyday shoe this is I mean I would highly recommend these shoes to people who who need a like an, a, a a running shoe that's like slightly different than the main you know the main sort of like main brands such as Nike and Adidas. People who need a shoe that is good for, uh, you know, hybrid terrain. So, you know, you can use it for a bit of, bit of uh, road running uh, and but because there's no, you know, you can use it for road running because there's no rock plate, so it's not super firm and then not super tough. It's not gonna, you know, not gonna be so demanding on the foot. Uh, and then because there's enough foam and there's enough luck, you know, there's the bigger lugs, you can also take the take it off road and have have a have a session off road. And then because because it's just a lovely shoe altogether, I would just highly recommend to people who who need new running shoes, you know, for whatever reason. Again, not a performance running shoe for daily training. For going for park runs, you know, just to wear, to wear it in the office or you know around uh, you know around town all day, you should definitely definitely check these shoes out. And again, as an icing on the cake, it's also more sustainable than your average uh, nylon and uh, polyester-based uh, running shoe. And again, not extremely expensive either. So 
to get a more sustainable, like lower carbon footprint shoe that looks good uh, and can be used in various terrains, you know, it's 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 a you know it's a no-brainer. Get these shoes in this colorway. Job done. Well done. Uh, so that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. It was a bit all over the place, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but I just, I just honestly, when I look at these shoes, I just, just kind of forget what, I'm, what I was talking about. I just wanna, I would just be like, oh, should I put it on? You know, should I wear this today as well? Uh, and I'm pretty sure I will actually uh, wear them today uh, and then going forward as well when I, when I can. As always, more reviews coming, more tips and tricks coming. Uh, stay tuned for, uh, you know, for more running and, and, and workout and all sorts of goodness. Uh, thank you for watching guys. Uh, again, as always, if you liked the video, please like the video and please consider subscribing to my channel because there's a lot more of these sort of stuff coming uh, in your way uh, very, very soon. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Have a lovely day. Cheers, bye-bye.